Hi, welcome to Invest My Test. In today's video, you will learn about TOEFL Integrated Speaking Task 3. To begin with, we will give you a full introduction and walk you through a sample question. Then, you will learn how to form your response for this task with the answer templates we provide. Finally, you will learn how to report an opinion using different expressions. So, let's start with the introduction. TOEFL Integrated Speaking 3 will ask you to read a passage related to a campus situation. The passage is either a campus announcement or a student's letter in a newspaper. You will be given 50 seconds to read the passage. Next, you will hear a conversation between two students discussing their opinions on the passage you have just read. Finally, you will answer a question based on the passage and the conversation. The question will ask you to state one specific student's opinion and explain the reasons he or she gives for having that opinion. You will have 30 seconds to prepare a response and 60 seconds to speak. Okay, now you understand the structure of task 3. Let's look at the sample question. First, you will read a passage. Remember, you will only have 50 seconds to read. Within this 50 seconds, you need to take notes on the main ideas of the announcement. Also, don't bother taking notes on all the little details in the announcement, because it will still be on screen later in the actual TOEFL exam. Here is the passage. What on earth is the university thinking? <laughs> You're talking about their plan to put us in the freezer after five every day? Yes, and don't forget weekends. Don't they realize that those buildings are used after hours as well? My study group meets there, for example. Can't you move to the library? There are not enough rooms reserved for group meetings in the library. Can you imagine what would happen if all the study groups met in the general study areas? The noise would disturb everyone trying to study in silence. I get your point. Lots of people would be stuck without a meeting place, especially in the middle of winter. What do you think is the solution? Well, for starters, they should pay a company that specializes in energy efficiency to help them make these buildings more energy efficient. I am sure they will be told to replace those old windows. If they can control heat loss through windows and walls by using better insulation, they can save a lot of energy. You mean invest in new technology and building material now to save energy later? Exactly! So now you have 30 seconds to organize your speech. You need to use this time to organize the notes you took from the reading and the listening part. The question is asking about the woman's opinion on the announcement and reasons why she supports or opposes the announcement. Hence, your answer should cover what the announcement is about, what the student's main opinion is, and two supporting reasons. If your answer doesn't cover all of these, you're likely to lose marks. Okay, so here's the structure we recommend you to use. First, you summarize the main point of the reading passage and state the student's opinion. Then, you present the first reason of the student followed by the second reason. If you still have time, restate the student's opinion again as a conclusion. Here's a suggested format for the 60 second speech. You don't necessarily have to follow this timing structure exactly when you speak. This is just to give you an idea of how your response could be structured. All right, we all want you to get a high score and we want you to prepare for this task more easily. 
That's why we from Best My Test provide you with an answer template, so you can use it as a guidance when you give your speaking response. So, here's the template. It starts with the man or woman agrees or disagrees with the announcement which is about. Here you can talk about what the announcement is. Then you say there are two reasons why the man or woman supports or opposes the announcement. And then you use one reason is to begin talking about the student's first reason. And another reason is to begin talking about the student's second reason. Finally, you use therefore to give a conclusion. So let's try using this template. The girl disagrees with the announcement, which is about lowering the temperature in classroom buildings after five o'clock every workday and on weekends in order to save on heating costs. There are two reasons why the girl opposes the announcement. One reason is that the buildings are often used after hours for group meetings. The library does not have enough dedicated meeting rooms to accommodate all the group activities that currently take place in classroom buildings after hours. Another reason is that she feels the solution is not to lower the temperature in the classroom buildings, but to improvise their energy efficiency by improving insulation and reducing heat loss through windows and walls. Therefore, the girl believes that lowering the temperature in classroom buildings after five o'clock every workday and on weekends is not a great idea. Okay, notice that in this template we use agree with, disagree with, support and oppose to report one's opinion. There are other words and phrases that we can use to express support or opposition. For example, we can use be in favor of something or to approve of something for expressing support as in the following sentences. There are two reasons why the girl is in favor of the announcement. The girl approves of the new rule to reduce paper waste. Likewise, you can use be against something be in opposition to something or be opposed to something instead of oppose something. So any of the following sentences would be perfectly fine. There are two reasons why the girl is against the announcement. There are two reasons why the girl is in opposition to the announcement. There are two reasons why the girl is opposed to the announcement. Okay, I hope you now know how to report an opinion using different expressions. But if you want to just keep it simple, just use the word support and oppose in your response. There's nothing wrong about it. In fact, if you use expressions in the wrong way, you will lose marks. So my advice to you is just follow the template and practice as many questions as you can. You can also go to bestmytest.com to practice 36 more TOEFL speaking task 3 questions. Alright, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'm looking forward to seeing you next time.